Hi friends, uh, this is uh, uh, risk-based engineering course offered by NPTEL, National Program on Technology and Enhancement Learning. And the topic we are discussing is system reliability modeling. We have discussed so far the uh, reliability block diagram and uh, therein we discussed series system, parallel system and one additional that is K out of N system uh, for uh, for various configuration modeling. Uh, of course, we have introduced the complex uh, uh, reliability uh, block diagram also. So this is where, and of course, the special feature of this, uh, so far the uh, talk was uh, consideration of common cause failure. Without that, whether it is a uh, RDB or even faultry that uh, we, which will be discussed here in this talk, um, without common cause failure uh, and human consideration, uh, no modeling is uh, complete uh, and often the results are um, very uh, very sort of optimistic so that can be avoided you know so now uh, this uh, lecture will focus uh, uh, on one of the central pillar of uh, risk modeling that is fault tree analysis and what we will discuss here is so far the state of the art uh, uh, for practical application is there on static fault tree analysis. So we'll be discussing this only. And uh, in uh, in one of the later lecture, uh, we'll be introduce the dynamic component of fault tree event and all that. So for this lecture, we'll limit ourselves to uh, fault tree analysis. Um, let me say that people who are serious about uh, risk and uh, reliability modeling, um, uh, for them, this is, lecture is going to be very important. Um, and uh, and probably uh, because what we discuss here is a is, is simple simple model of the fault tree or event uh, event trees, which will follow up. Um, but actually, if you look at the risk modeling, uh, the fault trees are much much more complex, uh, uh, capturing something like uh, uh, thousands of the component in one system modeling, and they are very elaborate, running into some sometimes 15 to 20 pages. Uh, but here the treatment will be much simpler. Uh, but let me assure you, there will not be any difficulty when you go from simple to uh, complex because all the basic con concepts have been introduced here in this lecture. So let us start the fault tree analysis in this lecture. Um, fault tree uh, analysis is a basically graphical approach. As you can see, whatever model is there, it is presented in front of you. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so this is a fault tree, typical fault tree. And let us uh, not forget the uh, inventor of the fault tree, the Bell Laboratory in 1962, they developed this uh, technique. And uh, today, it is considered to be one of the most powerful technique uh, in uh, risk analysis. Uh, why powerful? Because uh, it captures not only hardware component uh, failure, it captures, uh, rather it uh, enable integration of uh, human factor uh, into the analysis. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, it captures the common cause failure which is uh, uh, critical to uh, any estimation. Uh, in, and then uh, it doesn't remain in the domain of only design. It, uh, it helps in a big way into operations also. Like um, initially when risk modeling is done uh, for a plant in design, uh, normally generic data is used or similar plants data are used because plant specific data are not available. Uh, but as the plant or mega system, I'm talking about the mega systems, uh, when they enter into operation, uh, the new insights or data on performance, uh, data on maintenance, repair, they keep pouring in. And this technique seamlessly provide a very, very, uh, very, very elegant mechanism to capture the plant experience also. Uh, and that experience again enables uh, through fault tree technique and event tree technique the development of a risk monitor uh, model for the plant wherein operator can see the impact of test maintenance operational issues onto the uh, risk level of the plant. So um, uh, the major a major advantage of this technique uh, or along with the event tree, I would say this integrates the whole plant and enables giving risk uh, risk estimates for the plant, for the system, 
for the component and it is documented. That means it is open for any review or anybody to visualize, um, discover, discover the uh, strength and weaknesses of the plants uh, and of course the impact of human factor on the plant so that the modifications can be incorporated. So, um, and I think internationally, um, if I have to bring in that uh, relevance of this approach, a probabilistic risk assessment is done for all the nuclear plants at level 1. Level 1 means the plant and system analysis. So, uh, fault tree is central to this uh, risk analysis and for most of the nuclear plant or uh, all the nuclear plants, the level 1 PRA uh, has been done. Um, I think probabilistic risk assessment when, when, when we discuss we will come to that part also. So, uh, this is how uh, you can you can from my uh, talk you can get this sense that uh, this is one of the important lecture uh, people who are interested in uh, taking up uh, risk and reliability as their professional career. And then of course people who are in design and operation and maintenance for them also it is equally, equally relevant because this technique provides um, uh, provides a right insight or you know prioritization issue uh, which are difficult using the uh, uh, using the uh, deterministic approach because they tend to be arbitrary sometimes. So here you have a quantified model so you can prioritize the issues well. So use this insight into test, maintenance, operation, aging studies, anything. So uh, this is how the fault tree I feel is very, uh, very, very uh, useful technique. Okay. Um, yeah. And what we will be discussing uh, in this lecture will be static for and then we will in introduce to uh, the dynamic component also of the fault tree. So fault trees are uh, like in, uh, in the previous slide. I have shown a simple example of fault tree. This technique operates in failure domain. Failure domain means um, we are not uh, focusing on uh, reliability aspect. We are covering on failure and failure consequences of failure uh, 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 for risk assessment. You know, so uh, all the data, failure data is used here, and failure criteria is used here for uh, uh, fault tree and event tree analysis. Uh, so you can see here. Uh, we have a top event. Top event is basically system failure status. Let us say we have emergency power supply. So uh, this event is called emergency power supply. Uh, normally uh, the practice is not to write failure because it consumes space and uh, so just emergency power supply. So system failure is intuitive in this event actually. How to read the fault tree? So let us say if it, this is emergency power supply failure, emergency power supply failure occurs if event A happens or event B happens. Event, event B is a basic event. That means one of the, uh, one of the uh, com component failure. Uh, so that means this component is almost equivalent to a component cause failure because it leads to the top event. Now event A is basically it requires again C and D uh, event to. So suppose if the C event is there then also it goes on top actually. So suppose if I replace this OR gate with the N gate then the event A will occur when event C and event D that means they are redundant system. Okay? So both this event should become a reality or fail failure to lead to event A. So and this event A then will it will lead to that means individual suppose if, if it is an end gate then event C alone cannot take this thing to the top uh, along with the C D also should occur for the event. So and finally uh, for quantification purpose uh, when it is OR gate then the input coming from bottom uh, it should be added up here. But for end gate suppose if it is an end gate then C and D should be multiplied. You can see if this is 10 to the power minus 3, 1 into 10 to the power minus 3, this is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 is the failure probability then this becomes 10 to the power minus 6. Okay? Uh, but whatever figure is there here, let us say common cause. Uh, if this figure is 10 to the power minus 4, so the result will not be 10 to the power minus, for 10 to the power minus 6, uh, it is going to be around 10 to the power minus 4, whatever figure. So this figure, single event will dictate the output of the, uh, the uh, fault tree analysis. So in nutshell, and we will see the other aspects also when we will go into detail. But before that, let us see the symbol or entities that are used in building the fault tree. 
So first, as you saw in the last uh, figure, uh, top event. So the, here it is the top event. That means the fault tree analysis of uh, final results are given here. Okay, and then this fault tree will be connected to some other uh, fault tree or event tree. Uh, but then for the purpose of system analysis, this event is the final event, and then. Uh, that's why it is called top event. It is characterized in uh, actually there are professional softwares are available to do fault tree and event tree analysis or even for that matter risk analysis. Uh, so there in the, those software this event is written as a top event. Say I'm creating for uh, let's say uh, emergency power supply the fault tree. Then top event will be um, will be emergency EPS, emergency power supply, because these events are characterized not by description. These events are characterized in real time by their abbreviation. So if I want to say uh, this uh, block has a name emergency power supply failure. Failure is a term which is uh, not used in practice, but EPS, uh, okay. So EPS is the uh, uh, character or the code that will be used when analyzing this fault tree, like A and B, so EPS will be there, okay. Now, what you see here is the R gate. Okay, so R gate, uh, R gate is here, and this R gate. What you, as, as I told you, A plus B should happen. So here it is a R means plus sign. Uh, let us make this uh, in our uh, this thing uh, that you know uh, a, a failure of event A and failure of event B. Let us say this is one into ten to the minus three. This is a, uh, one one into ten to the minus, so two into ten to the minus minus 3 will be the results here. So R operation, it is summation. R means summation. And then you have an end gate. End gate means product, product of A and B. Uh, here it tells the different blocks that build the system and each block failure is a failure of the on top, it will come on top. But here the end gate uh, captures the redundancy built into the system for developing the fault tree. You have to read it like this. A and B failure will lead to the top event. That means uh, uh, on this gate actually. Similarly, we have basic events. Even though it should not have been, uh, even though uh, the basic event is basically a component uh, that builds the uh, subsystem, system, or even, uh, you know, is a part of the plant. So basic events are indicated by a small circle. Uh, and that, that like, uh, uh, for example, A and B, they are basic events because they have not been further developed. So basic events are the last component in the fault tree and no more development beyond that, okay? But suppose if you feel that fault tree is going down and uh, down and down, then this is an intermediate event. So this will be a block and uh, then further R gate or end gate here and then you can go on developing the fault tree. Fault tree is a deductive approach. It starts from top and it goes down, goes down till it comes to the basic component level or the level where the analyst either he cannot find details or he doesn't want to go beyond those details. So last event. So uh, one has to bear in mind the fault tree technique is a deductive technique. Start from the top and go uh, to the bottom for developing the complete model of the system. These are transfer gate. So that means information is getting transferred to, let's say this block, so it will come and it will get connected here. But if there are transfer uh, get, uh, get also from side. So suppose if I have done some analysis and I, I want uh, that, okay, top event, uh, uh, in, uh, intermediate event re represents some part of it. So I'll say the similar block has been developed through the transfer event. So. Um, it doesn't perform any uh, logical operation. These two uh, things, they don't perform any logical operation, but actually they are transferring in, uh, uh, remaining uh, portion of the fault tree to one other block or here and with the tag so like this only, so that you know the same fault tree goes and get input at other uh, uh, intermediate event. Okay, so now let us see some more, uh, um, some more symbols. So it is undeveloped event. It is not possible in all the analysis to have all the information. So this particular thing, uh, for anywhere in the fault tree, it says either this block was not developed, it remained underdeveloped, or the analyst doesn't want to develop it further. So it remains like this only. So that means the fault tree at the bottom terminates with this event. Now similarly, there is a house event. House events are very important. Why? Because 
हाउस इवेंट इज यूज टू एनेबल एन इवेंट ऑन ऑन एंड ऑफ सो इन इन दिस थिंग इफ यू टर्न द ऑन ऑफ लेट्स से आई वॉन्ट टू डू ए सेंसिटिविटी एनालिसिस आर ए फॉल्ट्री एनालिसिस विदाउट ए ब्लॉक सो आई आई टर्न दिस ब्लॉक ऑन और दिस ब्लॉक ऑफ तो बॉटम रिमेनिंग पोर्शन विल गो ऑफ फ्रॉम दैट एनालिसिस इट इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर एनालाइजिंग द इम्पैक्ट और सेंसिटिविटी एनालिसिस ऑफ द ब्लॉक विच इज बींग कंसिडर्ड वेदर इट मेक्स एन इम्पैक्ट एंड इफ इट मेक्स हाउ मच इम्पैक्ट इज इम्पैक्ट ओके देन दर इज ए एक्सक्लूसिव और इवेंट देर आर ए इवेंट बी इवेंट एंड देर इज ए सी स्टार इवेंट द लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन रिजल्ट इन एन आउटपुट only exactly one of this input for example if c is c here c star is that an event then the output will occur only if c is high so that means if this event is not high output will not occur exclusive selection if only a and b is uh, high then the output will not occur as it happens in the or gate so in or gate if this high this high the output will occur or this high but unless until this event is high the output will not occur so it is sort of uh, we are talking about the uh, conditional probability you know here okay um, now now uh, priority end gate uh, the way we have or logic we have we have got the uh, end logic also so a star b star c this is how it indicates you know so the output occurs if the input occurs in sequence so here the sequence is very important sequence is a b c if sequence is not met, um, uh, maintained then the output will not occur so these facilities like exclusive or gate end gate they have come into uh, come into uh, use because the plants uh, logic is not totally captured by end gate or or gate which is a sweeping thing or means addition and means multiplication so there is no condition here Uh, uh which exists in the plant uh, and that that need to be captured by the fault tree so these conditional events exclusive or an exclusive event get and this is one in inhibit get it is very interesting get the output occurs if the condition event is satisfied for all input events so there will be one event which is a special event that event should be satisfied for all the event to come here so um uh, this is again as, as i said um but there is a switch here you know so that switch uh, unless until it is enabled other events also will not occur um so these uh, events if not often they are used uh, whenever uh, iteration or fault review or a peer reviewer is trying to uh, understand the impact of uh, a branch or a component or any uh, human factor uh, or a common cause component so this is how it is uh, done so let us move on a, a step ahead we have seen all the symbols now before we take the real time example or not real time actually sample example because real time example cannot be taken in the lectures why because they are fault trees are very uh, very very elaborate as i mentioned it uh, one fault tree uh, occupy sometimes 15 20 25 or more than that pages also when we do risk modeling for the uh, mega systems like nuclear plant process of some uh, you know um, uh, and uh, space systems and all that so uh, so we will we are using only simplified model of the fault tree okay i think many places this aspect uh, is becomes desirable that the domain Uh, knowledge that means the uh, experts from the system side uh, who are in operation or design should be part of the team not only they should be part of the team they should be having a um, uh, additional expertise in risk modeling if domain experts are not involved then the there is a always a uh, the, there is always a uh, you know i would say even a doubt ki whether the analysis is complete or whether it is ref, uh, reflecting the as built and as operated plant so that is very important because there are many complexity of design or operation that must be captured in the fault tree and then only we can have credible results okay uh, uh, then data the in fault tree the data plays key role uh, we say junk in junk out but then the data what that we use in our model and uh, you know, fault tree or inventory we use those more they should be 
as close as possible. That means, uh, that means uh, the data what we pick up from generic sources should to the extent possible ref reflect my design, uh, design information, uh, configuration. Okay. And when, we, when it goes into the operation, the same information should be replaced by plant specific data. Then only the fault tree will be called a, a plant specific fault tree or system specific fault tree. You know, so data is very important for uh, um, for uh, assessing the credibility of the results. And of course, there are ways to uh, ways to capture that uncertainty which comes out uh, with a not data not having the. But then those techniques called uncertainty analysis. For example, if I built my analysis on only two points, some information, then my uncertainty will be very high. And it will be uh, so high that uh, beyond certain limit, the result itself will become, uh, you know, uh, not applicable or less applicable or even not forget about representative. It will not be uh, applicable. So uh, the data is very important. This uh, I emphasize. And uh, if the experience is correct, the data modeling takes a very good component uh, uh, component of uh, risk modeling. Um, I would say even 50% or more efforts goes goes into fine tuning the collecting the data, fine tuning the data, performing analysis, and then uh, completing the data list as as far as possible and as applicable as possible. So uh, we, after uh, after discussing uh, the aspect, there are uh, things that what you get from fault tree is a set of um, minimal cut sets. Minimal cut set is in simple word is the minimum number of components that lead to system failure. It could be a single component, which is called single order cut set. It is a, uh, if two components together, they are uh, taking the uh, uh, plant to failed state or fault tree to top event, then it is called second order, third order, fourth order. Fourth order, may four components are required to. Normally, the practice is not to go beyond four component failure because four independent failure, uh, uh, unless until um, it is a common cause failure. It will not be uh, giving. It will be giving a very theoretical, uh, low, very low value, hypothetical value. So, commercial software are used. Uh, one saving grace is we have very good uh, uh, softwares available in open market, and we can do in that environment, software environment, our risk reliability modeling, uh, which keeps away from uh, we, uh, we we. It allows us to do more uh, modeling aspect. Uh, then, uh, then, uh, then uh, time uh, draw, drawing the fault tree and all that. So we save a lot of resources, and that's that's how the quality of the analysis also increases. So uh, before in fault tree, uh, there is a concept of common cause failure aside. Uh, the, before that, there is one more concept called ex exclusive event and independent event. So you can see here the, this event. Um, I think this I'll uh, I'll the exclusive event and the difference I'll cover sometime. But let us say for this lecture's sake, um, A and B are independent event A, and they are exclusive also. Why? Because they are not having any they are not having any overlapping uh, uh, situation like we have here in, in so um, so they are independent event. Now now here on the left side we have union of events. Union of event means U, it is represented A plus B or A union B, okay? And the interaction occurs by the, uh, the, the union is basically represented by area which is marked by this whole, uh, whole two circles, okay? So, um, how you will get the full area is a probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A interaction. So that means double counting will, uh, will go from here in the overlapping portion. So purely you will see the area uh, between these two things. Now here uh, you have interaction of event A and B. So in, here it was a union. Here it was an interaction N gate and here it was an R gate. Now N gate means uh, AB is equal to A interaction B and there the interaction is nothing but probability of this and for visualization the area which is common to both A and B overlapping area that is represented by the interaction. Okay. So uh, we have seen the Venn diagram basically the independence and uh, you know, uh, exclusive or you know uh, these things are better understood before we start the fault tree. So I have given that introduction. 
but here we have the boolean I, we were talking about the minimal cut sets and all that so uh, basically uh, what uh, input we give to the fault tree uh, many types two events interact and they produce some uh, thing so uh, boolean law is very useful uh, from the uh, from the fault tree input or their combination to reduce to minimum number of events which leads to and the uh, to the failure and they are uh, they are uh, certain loss for that so first law is called commutative law commutative law, law it can be read like like this that a and b b into a and a plus b b plus a it suits our common sense because we are doing be doing arithmetic in you know in this fashion and it is not, not different than the arithmetic thing associative law a into bc is equal to ab into c but in uh, venn diagram and all they it can make the difference so that's why this logic we are so here also it suits our uh, our uh, arithmetic knowledge and uh, again we have a in the bracket b plus c so association is there, there between b plus c but then uh, this is also equ equivalent so up to here there is no problem we don't have to remember even uh, independent law also we don't have to bother much a into a is equal to a it is not a square uh, but it can be understood a plus a is equal to a okay now here we have a absorption law absorption law can be understood like this the event which is there either common or uh, which is there outside dominates the results so absorption law means it absorbs other events so a uh, in bracket a plus b is equal to a very interesting to note that you know and a plus ab is equal to also a okay now we have a distributive law distributive law is basically uh, things are distributed that means we are multiplying ab plus ac so we know again this suits our common sense our from uh, uh, normal mathematics so we have this but boolean this one uh, we have to a plus b into b plus c uh, a plus c a plus b plus. so what you will get is a square so a into a we know a uh, b a and uh, a c this will be two things so it is basically a plus b c probably um, people can try in their home and it is very simple actually how we get a into b plus c we have to apply this logic only okay now two more are there and we will see complementation complementation is very simple if somebody some some uh, components um, we have set a and other set is complementary a uh, this bar on top it, it says complementary so a and complement of a is null set we can see that complement if suppose there is a set uh, circle and complement is rest of the population then it will be a null set actually you know and a plus a again we have this uh, a plus a complement is again a null set um, it can be explained or a universal set. here there are there is other possibility also either that set or even universal set also because we are taking a and complement of a plus we are making a complement also now de morgan's law uh, this is very uh, uh, very highly used here the complement of ab in multi multiplication mode is equal to complement of a in plus complement of b while only this sign changes a, a a plus b complement is equal to a into b so you can see how crossover effect is there and uh, for analyzing the fault tree all these jobs are uh, built in uh, into the software so uh, very efficiently software does the uh, cut set analysis otherwise manually it is very difficult so uh, one more advice is there if uh, we are into serious fault tree event tree development other than the academics then let us go for a professional software otherwise analyzing cut set is a very difficult thing so let us come to the cut set all that input will go into building the uh, cut set so we have a safety injection uh, thing you know uh, and the uh, unavailability is equal to i have not given the figure here because i have not given the quantification itself it was a qualitative discussion you know so say, one is uh, we have independent event that means pump uh, pump and wall these two are uh, independent event and uh, pump ha has got a one uh, 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 you know uh, dependent that means p1 and p2 they are similar so the odd, odd gate but wall are always by uh, independent wall so so what we get out of this here we get a equation uh, unavailability is equal to one is common cause failure you can see it is going on top so the, uh, generally the way our experience is 
this will dominate the uh, results but independent failure also can be shown wall v1 and v2 v1 plus v2 and then pump product you know so this is how the first order cut set is v1 v2 and common cause failure and the second order cut set is p1 and p2 so here you have idea about uh, this thing but we have not done any um, um, uh, cut, cut set processing operation here so so what basically this will go in analyzing the unavailability you know so now if you have data about these things unavailability system uh, safety uh, uh, sis unavailability safety injection system uh, unavailability can be estimated like this okay so now let us say fault tree analysis how to go about quantification so we have a power supply failure uh, in plant the uh, normal uh, normal power is there in the plant and emergency power is there in the plant as long as normal power is there emergency power remains standby here so so here we have a switch uh, um, uh, switch failure or line failure for normal operation switch means breaker if a big plant is there it is breaker or switch and line failure these two leads to normal failure and they are independent failure okay they are, they are basic events here um, for the for the uh, we we have not done the detailing here deliberately because it will become very complex emergency power b uh, emergency power b it happens uh, because of either diesel generator one diesel the both are similar component and ending has been done because they are redundant so b and the power supply in the plant will occur how to read this switch failure or uh, line failure will result into normal failure because it is a process system part you know and emergency this safety safety system part so c failure and d failure will only lead to this failure and either this fail uh, sorry, sorry for plant failure we require normal power supply failure and emergency power failure then only plant will normal su power supply failure will occur uh, in uh, in uh, safety system it is called station blackout condition okay so this is this was a simple example now let us take the data uh, for this and uh, so far you would have understood the procedure so our uh, our minimal cut set equation our top event equation is a plus b that is uh, our normal power supply set and c and d that is diesel power supply already now we uh, we multiply and we get this set cut set uh, a c b and a, b. and now uh, let's say failure probability for power supply switch a is this one uh, b is this one uh, diesel data is available so we are able to estimate the um, the failure probability uh, per demand okay uh, now uh, uh, now just to see the impact in fact in this fault tree uh, we have not taken common cause anywhere okay so if i have to introduce a common cause component which is nothing but 10% of this you see the figure changes from just uh, 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 almost 1 into 10 to the power minus 9 uh, 7 to 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 so um, don't you think uh, these results are very optimistic so in that fault tree what we are missing is a common cause uh, failure event uh, to be analyzed uh, in detail you know and then uh, we have one fault tree analysis for emergency core cooling system this of a plant so the ECCS component uh, configuration has been shown here okay and uh, uh, what happens this is a nuclear reactor and it keeps producing heat because of nuclear reaction the hot water comes out steam generator and then uh, then uh, it it operates in a closed loop but a, if any rupture occurs in the plant then this emergency core cooling system comes into the picture automatically because control logic is like that actually and then uh, it start injecting water from accumulator a and accu accumulator b through pump these are ruptured disc and two wall you can see redundancy has been given this is a uh, component one of the wall should open so two walls have been injection walls have been provided now these two wall they will inject at the strategic location in the reactor where water will flow and cool the reactor so this kind of systems they are meant emergency core cooling system are meant for loss of coolant accident situation so if leakage is there more than a preset value then system heat has to be removed and this system they remain always they are called engineering safety features you know they remain standby and with a all prepared thing water available here and all and then the water will be injected into the system uh, the details of this particular fault tree and all 
I will discuss in the next lecture because the next lecture is uh, having uh, relevance in terms of uh, modeling of event tree and uh, fault tree output goes to system and systems fault tree and its output fault tree output goes goes to the uh, event tree so there it will be more relevant so in next lecture it will be uh, it will be covered and what we have uh, uh, covered here is static fault tree we have taken and the it is uh, the fault tree is central to risk assessment member okay uh, assessment generally 10 to 100 uh, fault trees are um, uh, are each running into 10 uh, tens of pages or uh, in short i am trying to tell you what we have seen is a uh, uh, tip of the iceberg the fault trees are very very complex when we deal in real time situation um, fault tree development data management it, it's a very uh, com complex exercise so it cannot be done manually so there are software as to be, as i emphasized during the talk uh, this software provide environment for creating component database modeling common cause failure uncertainty uncertainty evaluation is very important so far what we have discussed is only point estimates unavailability will be this much uh, failure data uh, 2 into 10 to minus 3 but actually uh, speaking in practice we use uncertainty that is upper bound and lower bound of this uh, data so that we are more realistic because point est estimate keeps ch changing as the information comes or if the uh, uh, old information which was not correct removed or you know so there are so many reasons model is correct uh, model is refined so uh, uncertainty uh, uh, characterization is part of uh, input component that is a basic event and uh, output of the results are very important and normally uncertainty analysis form part of and this will be there will be one dedicated chapter on this or uh, you know uh, week on this for uncertainty modeling and then uh, we have the minimal cut set output of fault trees one is minimal cut set how the different combination of component they can fail so if you, somebody wants to provide a redundancy in some place and if it calls for it it can be provided similarly common cause failure or how much you, you that those ideas you get from the fault tree same thing we get from quantification also which are contributing factor so minimal cut set list is uh, one of the output of analysis and the system unavailability that is estimated based on the repair maintenance data failure data and all so uh, that gives so top event probability and that also is used for prioritization of component of our component so with this uh, i conclude this lecture uh, now next lecture uh, will be there on event tree analysis okay thank you